How's it going everyone? In this video, I'll show you how to make an animated GIF in Canva for free. No paid version required. This is useful if you want to make eye-catching posts on social media to promote a product or brand or just to express a message. Currently, you can post GIFs on Facebook, Twitter or any other social site that supports it. We'll be using Canva combined with another tool to create the GIF. This tool is called easygif.com. We'll come back to that later. GIF or GIF, pronounce it how you want. I'll go with GIF. Anyway, let's get straight into it. I'm going to make a text-based animation from the title of this video. Let's start from a clean slate. Open up a template in the size of your choice. I'm going to choose a dark background, then start adding text to it. This black background looks good to me. Actually, I've changed my mind. I want a picture of a laptop in the background. Then I'm going to start adding text to display the image. If you click more than Pixabay, you can get royalty free images. Let me search for laptop. Okay, this one looks good. I'll just resize it over the existing one for speed. This image is actually quite busy with lots of lines on it. So I'll make it darker by reducing the transparency. You can do this by clicking the transparency button in the top right and then dragging this level left. I can now add some text over it. You might see a style of video on social media where the individual words flash up one at a time. This is what I'm going to make. Click the text box on the left and select a suitable heading. Once I've done the first image, the rest will be easy because I can just duplicate the image and change the text for each word. I'll center the text so it's in the middle for each slide. So now that looks good, I'll click on the icon here to copy the page. A new duplicate page will be created underneath. This keeps the formatting the same and now I can just change the words and repeat the process until my message is done. So let me just spell out the title of the video. Be careful not to move the text by clicking and dragging as this would make it jump around the page. You just double click the text to select all and start typing the new word. I then click outside the box to deselect the text before creating a new page. For the last word I'll use Canva's official logo. You can find a bunch of company logos in the elements tab by searching for the company. I'll make this bigger so that it stands out but because it's now off center I'll position it back in the center and middle. So now all the slides are done, let's see what it looks like. You can scroll up on the left hand side to see them on top of each other. Looks okay but probably needs some colour. So if you double click on a word, then click the text colour box, you can select a new colour. Oops, that's too dark, let me go with something lighter. You can play around and adjust to your heart's content. Actually, I'm just going to add two more pages to the end of this group because it seems too short. Click the plus sign to add a new page to keep the background, but not the logo. I'll just add two more pages and change the color. Bear with me. So now I have all the images ready, I need to download this group of pictures and upload it to Easy GIF. Click the download button where it has select pages, click the drop down arrow and click all pages. Click done, then download. You can now save all the separate images in a folder of your choice. Right now it is not a GIF, it's still seven individual pictures that we created. Now that's saved, head over to easygift.com and click on GIF Maker. This is a free online tool, as you can see they are monetized by ads. Select the zip file we just downloaded from Canva and upload it to EasyGIF. There we go, all our pages are now uploaded in order. 
underneath each image is where you can set the length of time each image will be displayed for. These are measured in one hundredth of a second. It says 20, so that's one fifth of a second. Let's see what it looks like by clicking make a GIF. Congratulations, you just made an animated GIF. That looks a touch too fast. I'm going to increase the delay to half a second on some of these images. So that will be 50 out of 100. Hopefully that should make it easier to read. There is also an option in red to skip a frame if you wish. Let's see what that looks like. Make animated GIFs in Canva for free. I mean that looks and reads better but you can play around with the timings. When you're ready just right click the GIF and click save image as. Make sure the file type is GIF image and save. There you go, you just made your first GIF using free web tools. I'm sure you have better imagination than me so you can come up with better animations. If you run an e-commerce site or promote a product, you could use this technique to showcase your items. This is another example of a GIF you could create using product photos and text. You will need to upload your images to Canva first, then place the images onto different pages as I showed you earlier. Again, just go through the same steps and download all the pages, then re-upload them into the GIF maker. One thing I forgot to mention earlier was that you can add a crossfade between the frames. This makes the images fade into the next image. I tried it with this example, but I actually prefer a shorter fade if any. There are loads more editing options you can explore, but that's the basics to get you up and running. That's it for now, hope you found this video useful. Check out my other Canva tutorial videos if you're interested and feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.